Okay, so thought I would do something uh, a little different today. Uh, I got this in from Japan, and uh, we're gonna do uh, an unboxing of it. So let me, uh, I'm not really too keen on how this was packed. It looks like they just wrapped some stuff around the box without uh, actually putting it in another box. And I'll show you, you know, what this is. Uh, it might it might be all right. I don't know, but uh, I ordered this uh, five days ago from Japan, and it just got here today. So we're gonna take a look at what's in here and check it out, and uh, check out the quality of it, and you know, see what this is all about. So let's see if we can get this open. Uh, I'm in the process of converting most of my North American GameCube to Japanese. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because of the price. Uh, Japanese games are basically half the price of North American. And with North American stuff being at an all-time high right now, it makes sense for me to get rid of things like platformers and shooters, which don't require any kind of language to do and just sell, you know, sell it for the North American price and buy the Japanese version of it. Um, I did pick up a Japanese Wii U last year because my goal was just to collect North America, uh, no, not North American, but only Japanese exclusives for the Wii U and for the Wii. And then I thought about it after a while, I said, you know, it probably makes sense to get rid of the North American stuff. So I think something like, like Wind Waker, I think it's about $80 right now, complete, is what it's selling for on eBay, for the North American version. And you can get the Japanese version for about $25 or $30. Um, some of them doesn't pay to change because they're almost the same price. Like when I checked out Super Mario Sunshine, that was basically about $25 complete and it's about the same uh, Japanese. So there has to be a big swing in order for me to, you know, make that switch over to it. But it doesn't do any good to switch it over just for, uh, you know, a couple dollars. But so it looks like, put this up so you can see it. Uh, so here's the sensor bar. Here's the uh, AB cable, nunchuck. Nunchuck looks in good shape. That's the good thing about when you buy Japanese stuff. They always took really good care of their systems. And I can't even count the amount of these Wii boxes that I have that I pulled out of the GameStop dumpster when I was GameStop dumpster diving. It's like crazy. So here's the uh, the Wiimo. I don't think this is the motion control one. No, it probably isn't. It's probably just the, the regular one. But I have some motion control add-ons to the back. So let's check the, this out. Uh, so it looks, I mean, it looks pretty clean. I don't expect there's going to be a card in there. Yeah, there's no card in there, but, you know, usually these doors are broken. And uh, it's nice that these are all intact. So now I can uh, start playing some Japanese uh, GameCube. I have a Japanese GameCube, but that's in the box. And I just assume not keep taking that out of the box. And I don't display it. It just stays in the box with some other Japanese consoles that I have. Um, I generally, once I have something boxed, I generally don't take it out unless I absolutely have to. Um, so it made sense for me to, you know, just buy a Japanese Wii. Um, I don't know if I'll mod this one. I just finished modding one of the Wiis that I have that so allows me to download ROMs to it. But I probably won't mod this. So here's the stand. What's in over here? Oh, and this is the, the clip that goes on top of the TV. So it actually has everything. Uh, now I didn't see the, well it has it on the bottom. I was gonna say, I didn't see the round circle that goes uh, on this, but you know, there's the stand for that. Let's check, check out the manual and see what the manual has to say. And I'm sure it's gonna be all in Japanese, or it might not be. Wow, they even include the, like the cleaning pad. I don't remember if North American ones had this cleaning pad, but here's a cleaning pad with it. 
And of course, uh, you know, to wipe everything down so you don't scratch it. It's a nice little addition. So let's see uh, what's in here. Here's just the Wii. Yeah, it's all in Japanese, but I mean, it's not that difficult to translate all that. And I have plenty of North American Wii manuals around here that I can find stuff out with. So what's this one? So, you know, on this here, all these uh, peripherals you can get for it. So I did pick up this, um, see if you can see that up here, the Wii mouse. I picked up that was boxed. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got that at yard, so I don't really remember where I got it. Uh, this Wi-Fi adapter here, or internet adapter here, I just picked up maybe two weeks ago. Uh, I could not get my Wii, the North American Wii, to get connected to the network with the new router uh, that Xfinity has. Supposedly it has 802.11 B and G, but I couldn't get it to connect, so I just went, I just went and bought the adapter for it, uh, you know, for the LAN and put it on there. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Is that a different stand or something? I don't really know what that is. And then this uh, down here was the HDMI adapter. You plug this in the back, and instead of using the, you know, you plug it in where this cable would go. So instead of using the yellow, white, and red, uh, HDMI cable plugs right into the back of it right there. So makes it nice. Um, and this uh, LAN adapter, you can go between the Wii U and the Wii. North American and Japanese doesn't doesn't make a difference. So, and I'm only going to have one of these going at the same time. In fact, I'll probably pull the North American Wii out of my computer room and maybe put that somewhere. Maybe I'll put that out in the garage or something. And because I have the Japanese Wii U in there right now, so I'm going to probably keep that, um, you know, all Japanese. So, yeah, not much else going on. You know, we looked at the manual. Uh, this looks like the warranty card. I think for that yeah it looks like that uh, what's this uh, just some more stuff for the Wii on the sensor bar and I don't know what this is uh, maybe it's network stuff no just tells you got some games on there I don't know what game. is that Animal Crossing that looks like Animal Crossing right there but I don't know it's in Japanese and I'm, I don't have the my phone out here to Google translate it but uh, shows you some of the Japanese. Uh, I don't know if these are all Japanese exclusives, but uh, we'll have to check out some of those. I think that the Japanese exclusives for the Wii, I think there was um, like 18. There wasn't that many that were Japanese exclusives. And for the Wii U, I think there was probably about 12. I, I thought there was somewhere around 25 total for both systems. I've got most of them at this point. But again, I mainly got this to play uh, Japanese GameCube on because I just don't want to have to take mine, you know, I keep taking mine out of the box and I don't, I don't have it set up anyway. Uh, I don't set up any of the retro consoles unless I'm going to play it. They're all in, a store, in the storage display cases and uh, I generally don't take them out. So, all right, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. <clears throat> Don't forget to subscribe, leave me some comments, let me know what you think. Have you ever bought a Japanese, um, any Japanese consoles, whether it's Wii, Wii U, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, uh, anything like that, and do you collect Japanese stuff? Leave me a comment below, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.